And now to the blue corner, Joseph Richardson. Right. Honestly, you don't really remember your first fight. Getting in the ring, heart pounding. Adrenaline rush gets you, you get the ring girl walking around, you're trying not to look at it. My main goal was hit him in the face. Just wanted to take him down quick. I guess make him bleed, so to speak. As Joe stepped into the ring for the first time, his instincts kicked in. And as he's standing there, he recalls how it all began. Everyone likes to watch UFC on TV and fight and everything else. And in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, that would be fun. But I just got into it, uh, just went head first into it. A uh, friend asked me. Joe's best friend, Kevin, recalls training with Joe. I trained briefly, probably for about a six month period of time. It was a great fitness program. I never uh, got into it for the fight, more so for the fitness than that, and uh, hang out with my best friend, and help him train. Joe recalls the intense training he had to endure. In preparing for a fight, uh, it's usually the same every time we go in there to warm up. We go in, we warm up, run around, do a few laps, stretch. Mainly, the stamina is the biggest thing, so we like to keep a high, high cardio, a lot of punches, a lot of kicks. As the bell rings, he begins the fight. It's time for round number one. Get ready. Here we go. Three, three minute rounds. The referee says, fight. Here we go. Um, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I've watched on film, because honestly, you don't really remember your first fight. You don't necessarily black out. Your body goes into a autopilot, so to speak. But from what I remember, I got a real tight grip on him. I rolled over and I pulled. Felt like I was pulling forever. Uh, like I, I used every, every ounce of strength I had left. And I got up, helped him up, shook hands. But uh, yeah, I went out there fiercely, swinging. Uh, trying to duck his punches, but like I said, you kind of black out. Joe's brother Josh remembers the fight. The first fight uh, was pretty exciting, I guess. I was just nervous most of all because I'd never seen what he could do as far as fighting. You just kind of get a rush as it begins. It just kind of builds and builds until it's kind of overwhelming and you just kind of forget where you are, I guess. A lot of adrenaline. Joe was more confident during the second fight. Uh, the second fight I went out was uh, a little more prepared. Obviously, I had fought one time, but it didn't make much more of a difference. Uh, I do remember being much more aware as I stepped into the ring. Uh, the other guy came at me, and I remember standing there just feeling the, the, the ring, the mat under my feet. The guy that he was fighting was a lot scarier looking. Uh, he had his head shaved, bald, and he had like a big beard. Uh, I did win unanimously in the third round. I came out swinging, throwing as hard as I could. Uh, I, I bloodied his nose. I cut him above the eye. Uh, by the time I, I had mount, I had, I had blood all over my shorts. Uh, and I happened to have white shorts that fight. So it was, uh, it was kind of a bloody mess. But uh, I did come out the victor. Um, I just won all three rounds. Joe entered the ring a third time. I came out there, I got in the ring, it was a different ring, it was different built, it didn't have the same feel, I was out of my element, so to speak. I don't know, it, it felt weird going into this one, even though he had won the two before. We went into the fight, uh, it came out once he controlled me a little bit, and then I got a really good takedown, slammed him to the mat, we jumped right back up, we're going at it again, up against the fence, just pushing, trying to get away, get off of him, just to throw some more punches, punches, some knees. Eventually came down to, I pushed off, I got my head down, and he got his arm under, tight, tight grip, and I, I just tried to swing, loosen him up, loosen him up, he had my neck pulled real tight. He got in the hole, just kind of, I don't know, he just kind of stopped breathing. That's a different kind of adrenaline. It's not like the pumped up, yeah, let's get him kind of adrenaline. It's like the fight or flight kind of kick in adrenaline. And uh, next thing I know, I kind of came to and, and realized the fight was over. Yeah. Would Joe go on to fight again? I would, I would definitely do it again, but uh, I don't think I'm going to make that my career goal. Um, hmm, that would probably be a bad idea. You know, just in my opinion, I mean, he's a grown man, he could do whatever he wants.
Mainly, you know, all you require is a mouthpiece and a cup, and you're about ready to go.